Lord, we thank you for this morning and thank you for your presence that is in this place right now. Thank you for your spirit that reigns in our lives. We thank you for this youth Sunday and thank you that you're going to do marvelous things today. Thank you that as we submit to your presence, Lord, that you'll move anyone that came burden, you would just lift that off them, Lord. Anyone that came sick, Lord, we pray that we believe that they'll be healed today. Anyone that came oppressed by the devil, we pray right now that those chains may be broken. We want to enter into your presence, Lord, fully focused. And through the week we go to work and we we focus on our work but when we come to church sometimes we just take your presence lightly Lord but we want to fully focus on you we want to say you're worthy you're worthy of the praise you're worthy to be worshipped because you're our God you're the God of the universe you created the whole world, you created the whole universe. As we stand before you, Lord, we come humbly, we come fully aware of who you are. We'll never fully understand who you are to us, how much you love us, but we come humbly, Lord. We pray that you'll, you may be with us today that everything that goes on here may glorify your name. Help us, Lord, to be joyful. Um, you said in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand is pleasure forevermore. Pray that your, your, your joy may just be abundant in this place today. Your joy may be full in this place today. That anyone that came heartbroken, I pray that your peace and joy may fill their heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you today. We, we honor you. We pray that anyone that walks in through those doors, Lord, may not go back the same way they came in. Yes, Lord. Touch their hearts, Lord. Touch their minds. Let us worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Welcome to church today. Amen. It's Sunday. I hope you're excited to see what God is going to do. Yes. As we rejoice in the presence of the Lord. I just want to read a verse before we start, before we worship God. Um, it's in Isaiah chapter 6. Every time I think about worship, I think about this verse. Um, it's just so powerful what we read in Isaiah 6. I'll read from verse, verse 6. Uh, sorry, verse 1. Isaiah 6, 1. In the year the king Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim, each one had six wings, with two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out, and the house was filled with smoke. So I say, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of, un of people who have unclean lips. My eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. In the first couple of verses, it talks about Para poder abrir, abrir, vivir más mal, 
And he says these seraphims they have six wings. And he says with two wings they cover their face. With two wings they cover their feet. And with two wings they fly. But what always gets me with these verses, these beings are beings that have never sinned. You can say the the righteous or the holy beings. But when they're in the presence of God, they have to cover their faces. They have to cover their feet. Because that, that's how glorious our God is. That any creature in the world, when they're in the presence of God, <laughs> the glory is too much. So as, as we worship this morning, I want you to have that picture in your mind of you being, you know, you know the Bible says that we now have access to the throne of God. Through the blood of Jesus. So as you come to worship this morning, I want you to just picture you being in the presence of God and picture you being there right in front of Him. And as the seraphims, you have to submit yourself, bow down before God and worship Him because it deserves all the glory. So we're going to go into a time of prayer and um, the worship team are going to lead us in a couple of songs. I don't want us to rush into this. Just take your time and worship God.